I uh, show rabbits and I do small pets and uh, I do one indoor project in the fair. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was up very late last night. <laughs> yeah. How many years have you been doing youth fair? Um, I've done it ever since I was able to, so four. Four. And you are wow. how old now? I'm 12. You're a grizzled veteran of 12 years on this earth. <laughs> yeah. And uh, have you shown any other animals? Um, no, but next year I'm going to try and show a horse. Nice. And I want to show one of my uncle's cows. One of your uncle's cows. And what school do you go to? North Middle. How are you doing there? Pretty good. Yeah? All right. Yeah. So is this your first time on the radio? Um, yeah. I've been interviewed one other time. Yeah? But that was at the fair. What do you think so far? It's very nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I do this every day. You can imagine. Yeah. So uh, your uncle's cow, how, how do you show a cow versus a rabbit? Um, a cow's way bigger. <laughs> yeah. I've heard, uh, yes. You have to hose it off a lot. Um, you have to make sure it has to have certain feed. You have to be there all day. With a rabbit, you can be there to check on it and leave. And you don't have to really worry about it that much. Um, cows, you also have to have a halter for it. And it shows stick. Mm -hmm. And How do you show a rabbit? Um, you have to take it to a table and make it pose and flip it over and health check it. And then flip it back over and talk to the judge. Okay. Does the rabbit stay in a cage and then you take it out of the cage or do you keep it on a leash? Or what do you do with the rabbit? Um, so... They have uh, these cages for them. They keep mm -hmm. them in cages. And when it's time for them to show, you have to take them out and hold them. Yeah. To go to what, what's the name of your rabbit? Uh, Prince Benjamin. <laughs> Prince Benjamin? Oh, why, why Prince Benjamin? Because I wanted Prince, but my aunt wanted Benjamin, so she put it together. That's, that's a good compromise. I like that. That's fair. It's good when family works together like that. <laughs> I would like to call you Prince Bodwell from now on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, hey, if that's what, you, if that's, yeah, I mean, we can, we can do that. I like that. Mm. For yeah. You. King Miller. Prince king Bonwell. Miller. Yeah, well, he's definitely, he is the king, the Hall of Famer. <laughs> I got the higher doubt. chair because he's taller, so. Yeah. It evens yeah. it out. Yeah, Mary Beth tried a higher chair earlier I, this morning. I tried all the chairs. <laughs> yeah, I, I Just don't. wasn't happy with the chairs. It's like Goldilocks. In about 11 <laughs> seconds, too. I have a com uh, conversation with Mike Hornby about the chairs. In we did, here. We did yeah. chair fix. Maybe but you'll be the one he'll listen to I'm, finally. I don't know. I was having some real issues once. It's kind of like, what is the... Well, anyways, let's off topic. Let's um, talk to Lily. Um, I want to know, did you uh, participate in the watermelon eating contest yesterday? My aunt really wanted me to, yeah. but I totally forgot about it. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know there's still lots of exhibitor contests. Mm. I know. I don't know what whether it's donuts today or uh, ice cream. Ice cream. Ooh, ice five. cream. And this, the thing about this ice cream contest, that's like when I first saw it on the list years ago when I started working with the youth here, I'm like, oh, that's easy. You know, you just got to keep uh -huh. from getting brain freeze. But they freeze the block of ice cream. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're just, you know, like a nice soft bowl of ice cream. No, it's a frozen block of ice cream. And they are trying everything they can to just... It, it's crazy how they, they do it. And <laughs> you should see some of the methods that these mm -hmm. exhibitors use. <laughs> Eating watermelon, uh the ice cream the donuts they have it, it's not your normal consumption i'll just say that it's worth coming down to see <laughs> all right fair enough yeah i've never eaten uh watermelon fast uh other than you know you take a couple of bites from the rind well it seems as if Is there what, a technique uh, yes the, the ones who seem to win you've seen this too mm -hmm. matt didn't they they like crush it and drink it mm -hmm. Yeah, and kind of yeah. like smash it down. And yeah, I've heard that as a technique, but I don't think that's fair. And the same thing, <laughs> they do that with the donuts. They, like, pour their water on it and soften mm -hmm. it and, hey. Drink the donut. Oh. I think that's what uh, what Kobayashi does on yeah. the, uh, with with the, the hot buns. dog eating contest. Yeah. Yeah. Chestnut, yeah, if you have a weak stomach, yeah. it's not something you want to watch. It's, no. Yeah, just turn away at that moment. Yeah. But the kids have so much fun. So they've worked so hard. Mm -hmm. They're there and it's a hot week and they're working hard all the time. So these activities, these exhibitor contests are so fun for them to yeah. just get in there with their friends and, and have, a you know, just, you know. So what's your day to like uh, going to be today, uh, Lillian? Um, we're Besides going, getting a nap at some point. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to uh, leave here, go to the fair, take care of my rabbit, go home, make 
peach pie jars or whatever Ooh. she wants to make for the bake who's, sale. Who's she? Ooh, ooh. My aunt. <laughs> okay. Oh, is yes. this the Prince Benjamin Ed? <laughs> yes. Oh, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Now, is this, are you making it for the youth bake auction? Yes. Okay, so let, that's perfect segue. Yes. <laughs> Lily, tell us about the youth bake auction. So they're very specific with Sorry. their baskets. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people from different clubs make different foods and uh -huh. they each have different themes which goes along with their foods and you put them in a basket and you sell them this was one of uh, our favorites at the fair clearly you could see my excitement but it's another way that the community business owners like myself can invest into the youth other than the livestock auction which is on Friday because these baskets are incredible that like she said home baked goods home baked whatever they put into them with a theme and so the various organizations that are involved in the club whether it's a 4-H group or FFA group um, those they have to be a participating organization with the youth fair but they have an opportunity to participate in the youth bake auction and so then they'll go around and they will walk their basket around the, the show ring and you can bid on it and the person with the highest bid wins and that money goes to help support their their organization so it's another great way uh, to get involved and for the audience who's probably wondering why you all are laughing so hard it's not at Lily it's nope. at me I, I came in here this morning with an overabundance of energy which is typical of me but I just it's yeah. Well, it's Super Bowl. Sorry. It's Super Bowl week for you. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's it's yeah. the youth fair. That's I get your excited passion. about the youth fair. These guys, yeah. these kids are amazing. I've, I say it over and over again that every time I get to be a part of promoting, I mean, they promoting the youth fair every year is for the past, I guess, five years. It, it's just such a rewarding week as a business mm -hmm. owner myself, seeing the caliber of young people who participate. Um, who are passionate, who are doing something so um, worthy, and and they have s I, I, it just the determination and hard work. Th this isn't just something they pick up, you know. <laughs> they are working on this every single day for a, a year, and I just I, I get excited for them. I'm, I, I'm I guess a coach, a mom, you know, on the sidelines, just cheering them on yeah, and it, being it, very excited. More than a, it's a, it's a lifetime, really, because you've been doing this since you were four. Did you say? Exactly. Um, really? I've done it for four years. Four so years. I've done it since I was nine, which is when they allow you to get into 4-H. Okay. Yeah, and remember, we are one of the only, I, some say, the only remaining youth. True, truly youth fair left. Most county fairs, adults can participate in shows, um, out, people from different communities, where as the Berkeley County Youth Fair, it's certain you have to be a, a member of an organization um, that is a part of the youth fair, whether it's FFA, 4-H, um, Boys and Girls Club, different ones. And it's all youth exhibitors. And the only adult one was last night, which they call it the, I love it, they call it the old timers showmanship. So if you've aged out of of exhibiting, you can come back for that show, but not anything else. So this is truly, um, our, our county is so, you know, fortunate to still have this tradition going on so many years. It's a 77th year. Uh, um, if you grew up in this community, you grew up going to, and looking forward to going to the fair. And I guess for me now transitioning, I grew up going to the fair for the fun of it, the carnival, seeing my friends at the end of the summertime, eating fair food, going to the nightly events. But what I didn't have a full awareness of was the really the heart of the fair which is the youth the exhibitors like lily and there are so many of them and they are they just deserve that support and attention and applause great job lily do you remember the fair on raleigh street oh yes at martinsburg yeah. high mm -hmm. school at the yeah. corner of yes bulldog boulevard and raleigh street yeah. it's hard to even fathom oh. that it fit there right how did it fit there yeah, we would go yeah. up in the bleachers to watch fireworks displays at the football field and then right. back down. My into, mom worked in the concession yeah. stand there. I'm like, Mom, where was there even room for a concession stand? There was a long building. The long exhibit, metal building, yes. And then somehow we fit animals in there and a carnival. Yes. Crazy. Carnival was typically down when on the far end. you think of how big right now, and they're yeah. already outgrowing the youth fair where they are, how mm. big it is now. I can't even fathom like that we fit into there. We know the livestock sales Friday. When That's did you say right. the baked goods sale is again? Lily? So. Today at 
5, 4.30. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to come and participate in that, you would just show up. There'll be a registration table. You go up to it, sign up, get a number, because you'll have to bid your right. bidding number, and you can participate in that. I guarantee you if you go, you will not, uh, whatever you end up winning you uh, and taking home, you won't be disappointed. Lily, you said you had an indoor project. Is Are the baked goods your indoor project, or is it something different? Um, my indoor project is self-determined crocheting. Uh, this year I made a bumblebee and got first premium on it. All right. Wow. What, what is self-determined crocheting? So they don't really have a like a class for it, so I have to take a self-determined class, and I do my self-determined for my crocheting. But what does the self-determined part mean? Where's Where's Prince Benjamin over there? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I she's on her own. own. Project. You make your own project. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Very so, good. did you learn crocheting just for this, or did you already know how to do um, some crochet? I wanted to learn because of my grandma. I love and that. And she taught me how to make the animals. That's right. great. And I thought that I would do it for a project. Did you crochet a bunny? <clears throat> um. Okay. No, but she has. <laughs> <laughs> what did you crochet? I crocheted a bumblebee. Oh, that's right. You said that. Sorry. So is it stuffed or is it a flat surface? It's stuffed. Okay, so it's oh, a, a crocheted it. stuffed animal, basically, the of a wings bumblebee. Are a little bad. Oh, so if you want to go to the fair, go into the exhibit hall, indoor exhibit hall pro where the projects are and check out her bumblebee. Mm -hmm. I noticed on one of the comments on our um, BCYF uh, Facebook page, someone s saw pictures of the 4-H style review, which was on Saturday. And the, the lady who commented said, please tell me those are pillowcases that they're sewing. And that that makes me so happy to see mm -hmm. that, you know, that exhibitors are still learning the art of sewing. I mean, there's so many things when you think about it that we don't do or we don't teach our young people anymore because they don't really, I guess, in our in society's minds need to know these things anymore. The traditional things like sewing and, and crocheting and raising canning animals, foods. canning. And yeah. it's so, to go down there and see that young people are still learning these things is pretty cool. You mentioned rabbits and small pets that you are showing. Is is a rabbit not a small pet, or do you have multiples? Uh, there's multiple. So you can show a rabbit in the small pets, but Mikey said not to because there's already a Mi barn. Mikey's for it. Mikey Withrow, right? The yeah. Mikey. The <laughs> Mikey. <laughs> do you? Well, so what? What are your other interests? Where you said you go to North Middle? Are you? I bet you're a really good student. I can tell. <laughs> I'm a good student, unless, like, I hang out with my friends because we're really loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to tell you, we have a lot of guests on here, and you carry yourself like you are, are much older than you are, and you really are a lot more confident and more well-spoken than many, many adults <laughs> that we've had on here. <laughs> I had a uh, rabbit as a kid. I can't imagine flipping a rabbit over. So what's the challenge of controlling your rabbit in the process of the judging? Well, it really depends on how your rabbit feels like acting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> so, Which you never know with a rabbit. <laughs> well, yesterday he didn't want to pose for me. Um, he tried to bite me. Oh, he tried no. to bite the judge. <laughs> wow. Which he gave us a reserve champion. So. That's great. But, um, <laughs> Despite it all. <laughs> uh, so all you have to do is grab him by their neck and... Uh -huh. Put your finger in between your your thumb out here and just flip them over. Okay. Support their butt and just. And they don't kick and squeal and Unless carry on. If you don't work with them, they'll probably okay. flip themselves back over. But I work with my rabbit a lot, so right. he's used to it. Hey, about 60 seconds here. I got a text from Jennifer Smith that said you're also busy over the weekend. You're a judge for Build Up Berkeley. Oh. Is that coming up? I guess so. I think it's the 12th. It's next week. Yeah, yes. well, I guess registration yes. closes this that Friday. That is true. Yes, I'm looking forward. I'm yeah. very honored to be a part of that and to have been asked by Jennifer and her staff to be a judge this year. I'm looking forward to seeing all the entrepreneurship and um, ideas. So that's going to be exciting. Yes. All right, Tuesday night at the fair. Anything oh, going yeah. on today? You got Big, 30 seconds to wrap it up. I will wrap it up by saying all that needs to be said. Rodeo night mm -hmm. one. We have two nights this year, and tonight is the first night. So people love the rodeo. They love the rodeo group that comes in. Bull Ride Mania will be there, and of course, all the food and activities, the carnivals going. So come out. Why the weather is still good. Hey, uh, when's the wrestling thing? Do you know off the top of your head? It's supposed to be Saturday at 2 p.m. Because Shane Heimberger is coming on later on this morning. Oh wow. Right? 
9 35 okay. to promote so, yes, that that's saturday putting on the big wrestling show right. lillian uh, best of luck to you continued uh, success uh, both in your rabbit career and cow career as you expand out to larger more difficult animals yes, good luck. mary beth Yes, sir. I hope you find a comfortable chair out there in the world I for you. I hope so. I'll try to bottle up some of this energy for the rest of you guys. Yeah, feel free to take in. one of these with you. Okay. <laughs> She's not sitting still that long anyway. No, I don't think so. No, no, I don't no, think no, so. No, no. See you guys Thursday. And uh, we take our break here.